So let's uh, demonstrate how to do an inner join in Power BI. Um, it's this very similar process to any other kind of join in Power BI. We're going to invoke Power Query, and then it's just a matter of which type of join we select. So notice our data is already in Power BI. We're going to invoke Power Query by going to Home, Transform Data. And that brings up our Power Query Editor. Uh, you can see our employees and our positions tables off to the left. We're going to treat the employees table as the left table. And so we'll keep it selected. And then we're going to invoke the join operation by coming over here to merge queries, pulling down and select merge queries as new. That's just so it preserves our existing two tables and creates a new table with the join results in it. Notice it's got employees selected. We're going to pull down here and choose positions as the second table. That'll be our right table. And then down here on the join kind, we're going to select inner. And we need to tell it what columns we want it to perform the join operation on. And so we highlight Muppet ID in both tables. And notice down here, it tells us the results. It says four of the five rows from the first table match and four of the five rows from the second table match. And that's what we'd expect because Muppet ID five on our left table um, Ralph the dog doesn't have a match in the positions table. And Muppet ID 8 in our positions table, the frenzied monster drummer doesn't have a match in the left table. So we click OK. You can see we'll go ahead and expand our columns. We're just going to include the wage and the roll columns and not use a prefix. And you can see that it has four rows in there. Those are the four rows, four Muppet IDs that matched in both tables. So we can go ahead and rename it inner join. And then we just click close and apply. And that brings it into Power BI right there. It adds it. And then we have access to use it in our analysis. And that's all there is to it. How to perform an inner join in Power BI.